1961, John F. Kennedy said his ultimate ambition was to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. Although President Kennedy would not live to see it, his words came true just eight years later when Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon speaking these immortal words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The moon continues to capture our imaginations, not only in space exploration, but in different fields where we dare to dream. In America, Cancer Moonshot was created by Joe Biden in 2016 to make cancer an illness that is early detectable and treatable. And in the UK, Operation Moonshot was codenamed this year to make COVID-19 tests available to everyone who needs it. But in China, interactions with the moon go back a lot further, with the early emperors worshipping the astronomical body in a culture where the traditional calendar is shaped by its phases and where holidays like the Chinese New Year and Lantern Festival are still determined by its movements. People of my grandparents' age continue to celebrate their birthdays according to the lunar calendar, not the Gregorian equivalent. And while Chang'e is the moon goddess in Chinese mythology, her name is also given to China's lunar exploration program that's breaking new ground. On December 1st, 2020, Chang'e 5, an unmanned spacecraft, landed on the moon after a 112-hour flight. Its mission is to collect soil, rocks and other debris to help scientists better understand the formation and composition of the lunar surface. This makes China only the third country to achieve this and for the first time since a Soviet mission in 1976. In the 1970s, these samples collected were three billion years in age, thus limiting our ability to study and learn a full geological history. But in 2020, Chang'e 5 will provide a bigger picture. By establishing its age and composition, Chinese scientists will define a timeline of volcanic activity on the lunar surface and prove or disprove whether that activity could have occurred as recently as a billion years ago. The probe can only happen in the space of one lunar day, the equivalent of 14 Earth days, due to the freezing conditions that hamper Chang'e's radioisotope capabilities. In that tight window, it needs to dig several meters deep to mine two kilos of material compared to about 200 grams gathered by the Soviets. It uses a drill and robotic arm and an ascender that will take off from the moon and deliver the debris to a service capsule. So across different fronts, it's an important mission, and scientists at NASA, like Dr. Thomas Zürbüchen, have expressed keen interest to examine the surface samples collected on this Chinese mission. I remember 2003, when Yang Liwei became the first Chinese astronaut in space. But looking back, it's hard to believe that anything could outpace that ambition, though in the 17 years since, the Chang'e program has pushed those frontiers forward. I'm James Chow and this is The China Current. The moon allows humanity to dream and achieve the impossible. I am James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.